Sir C. V. Raman. Time to warm up. What are these gold coins? Can you identify them? Time to read. One of the most prominent Indian scientists in history, C. V. Raman, was the first Indian person to win the Nobel Prize in Science for his illustrious 1930 discovery, now commonly known as the Raman effect. It is immensely surprising that Raman used equipment worth merely rupees 200 to make this discovery. The Raman effect is now examined with the help of equipment worth almost millions of rupees. Early Life Chandrasekara Venkata Raman was born at Tirchurapalli in Tamil Nadu on 7th November 1888 to a physics teacher. Raman was a very sharp student. After doing his matriculation at 12, he was supposed to go abroad for higher studies. But after medical examination, a British surgeon suggested against it. Raman instead attended Presidency College, Madras. After completing his graduation in 1904, an MSc in Physics in 1907, Raman put through various significant research in the field of physics. He studied the diffraction of light and his thesis on the subject was published in 1906. Raman was made the Deputy Accountant General in Calcutta in 1907. After a successful civil service competitive examination, very much occupied due to the job, he still managed to spare his evenings for scientific research at the laboratory of the Indian Association for Cultivation of Sciences. On certain occasions, he even spent the entire nights. Such was his passion that in 1917 he resigned from the position to become the professor of physics at Calcutta University. Contributions and Achievements On a sea voyage to Europe in 1921, Raman curiously noticed the blue colour of the glacier and the Mediterranean. He was passionate to discover the reason of the blue colour. Once Raman returned to India, he performed many experiments regarding the scattering of light from water and transparent blocks of ice. According to the results, he established the scientific explanation for the blue color of sea water and sky. There is a captivating event that served as the inspiration for the discovery of the Raman effect. Raman was busy doing some work on a December evening in 1927 when his student K. S. Krishnan, who later became the director of the National Physical Laboratory, New Delhi, gave him the news that Professor Compton has won the Nobel Prize on scattering of X-rays. This led Raman to have some thoughts. He commented that if the Compton effect is applicable for X-rays, it must also be true for light. He carried out some experiments to establish his opinion. Raman employed monochromatic light from a mercury arc which penetrated transparent materials and was allowed to fall on a spectrograph to record its spectrum. During this, Raman detected some new lines in the spectrum, which were later called Raman lines. After a few months, Raman put forward his discovery of Raman effect in a meeting of scientists at Bangalore on March 16, 1928, for which he won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930. The Raman effect 
is considered very significant in analyzing the molecular structure of chemical compounds. After a decade of its discovery, the structure of about 2,000 compounds was studied. Thanks to the invention of the laser, the Raman effect has proved to be a very useful tool for scientists. Some of Raman's other interests were the physiology of human vision, the optics of colloids and the electrical and magnetic anistrophy, later life and death. Sir C. V. Raman became the Fellow of the Royal Society of London in 1924. A year later, he set up Raman Research Institute near Bangalore, where he continued the scientific research until his death, which was caused by a strong heart attack on November 21, 1970. His sincere advice to aspiring scientists was that scientific research needed independent thinking and hard work, not equipment. Comprehension Time to answer Answer the following questions. Who was the prominent Indian scientist mentioned in the lesson? What was Raman's illustrious discovery? Where and when was C. V. Raman born? What did Raman study? What did Raman make in 1907? What did Raman notice in his voyage in 1921? When did Raman receive Nobel Prize? Why was Raman effect considered significant? C. V. Raman was the first Indian to receive prize. Raman used equipment worth of. C. V. Raman was born at. Raman received Nobel Prize in. The name of Raman's discovery was. Clue Kit. Raman's effect. 1930, Tiruchura Palli, Rupees 200, Nobel. Vocabulary Time to know new words. Prominent, well known. Discovery, finding new one, immensely, greatly, matriculation, 10th grade, significant, sufficiently great, curiously, really want to know something, explanation, a statement or account that makes something clear, transparent, allowing light to pass through so that objects behind can be distinctly seen. Time to spell well. Complete the following words. Write the opposites for the following words. First, significant, transparent, true, evening. Time to listen. Your teacher will read out the rhyming words from the lesson. 
Listen to them carefully. Color the bricks with the same color. Mystery, history. Best, first. Praise, prize. Night, light. College, manage. Grammar. Time to learn. Kinds of sentence. There are four different kinds of sentences. Declarative, interrogative, exclamatory, imperative. Declarative. A declarative sentence makes a statement. Statements can be of two kinds. Affirmative, positive, negative. Read the following statements. Affirmative. She is late. Madhu can speak English. Rahul ran fast. Negative. She isn't late. Madhu can't speak English. Rahul didn't run fast. Interrogative. An interrogative sentence asks a question. Do you go to school? What is your name? Who is your father? Exclamatory. An exclamatory sentence shows a sudden feeling, pleasure, anger, surprise, etc. How foolish he is! What a beautiful flower it is! Hurry! We have won the match! Imperative. An imperative sentence gives a command, advice or request. Shut the window. Please give me a pen. Get out of the class. State whether the following sentences are declarative, interrogative, exclamatory, imperative. The boys flew kites. What a lovely child! Are you happy there? Please come here. Show me your book. Where are you going? Oh, my father came today early. She finished her work. Time to watch. Look at the picture. Write the names of lab equipment. Beaker. Graduated cylinder. Balance. Bunsen burner. Test tube. Conical flask. Clamp. Funnel. Tongs. Ring stand. Make your own sentences using the following words. Prominent, discovery, curiously, examination, significant. Project work. Time to do. Activity time. Collect the pictures of other Indians who received Nobel Prize and paste them in the frames given below.